Godot 3.1 brought a huge improvement to the 2D rendering workflow, which is the 2D meshes. So let's try to understand what is this new node that is at our disposal. I am with the open RPG project open here in Godot, so I will search for Godot Palm, which is this texture here. I will create a 2D scene so we can make a small comparison between what we had before and what we have now with 2D meshes. And I will create an instance of this texture as a sprite. And I will set this to Godot Palm Mesh 2D. I will duplicate this and set this one to be the sprite and i will pick this one and make this on the side here so what's the problem that the 2d mesh tries to solve here using sprites into most of the 2d rendering workflows will also render every transparent pixel that has on the image so here in godat we can see that it is kind of like a tree structure it has a thin trunk and a big head so we had a lot of these transparent pixels here on the side, on the top portion as well. And Godot will try to render every pixel that we have here. It won't skip one. It will just say, okay, this pixel here is transparent until it actually reaches what we are trying to show to the player, what we are trying to display to the player. But if we go here into the Godot, we have on the top menu this sprite button which allows us to convert this sprite to a 2D mesh, which is another type of node. So I will click here, and what you can see is that Godot will automatically draw a mesh for us, which are these orange lines here. And what this will do is that it will tell Godot that it should skip everything that is not inside this mesh. It's just like a, a 3D mesh as well. So it has vertices that will create a mesh, and this will be what Godot will actually try to render in the 2D rendering workflow. So let's see how we can customize this automatic mesh here. On the bottom of this menu, we have two options, the simplification and the grow in pixels. The simplification is the level of, well, simplification of this mesh. The bigger this level, the less vertexes the mesh will have and the less precise it will be but the less memory it will take as well. So if I increase this to, let's say, 8, so 8 levels of simplification, and I update the preview here, you see that Godot tried to make a simple mesh, but due to its simplicity, it's not accurate at all. So we can see that there are some open faces here. We can also see that this is not precise, it's keeping some parts of the head especially. So you can see that it's kept the ear here and the hair is not as precise as well. But you can use this to make your 2D mesh less intensive on memory or performance. I will keep this with two levels of simplification, update the preview, and you can see this is way more precise now, but there are way more vertices as well. And we also have this grow in pixels, which will basically take this 2D mesh and increase its size. This is useful if the mesh is cutting some areas of your sprite. So we can see that maybe we have some areas that are being cut here into Godot. So if we increase this to let's say 8 for instance and update the preview, you'll see that Godot will increase the size of the mesh to, to increase what's inside of it. But in this case we can see that it's speaking more transparency than it was cutting before. We can see that it now has this not very precise mesh here. So I will set this back to 2, update preview. These default settings will most of the cases be already good to, to go, so you can keep this way. To apply these settings, to make this sprite a 2D mesh, you can create a 2D mesh here. So it will not actually create a new node, it will convert this node, this sprite, to a 2D mesh. As I say, the advantage of having a 2D mesh is that Godot will only render what was inside this mesh, what is inside this mesh. While with a sprite, Godot will render everything inside of it, even the transparent pixels. So it will take more processing to 
render this sprite than to render this mesh. It's a good improvement to the 2D rendering workflow and it provides you a tool to optimize your 2D game in Godot engine, especially for mobile games, which have a big problem with performances, especially related to battery. So this is how you can achieve a 2D mesh in Godot engine. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time.